everybody, welcome back to the first episode of Dino Facts, a new series on the channel, which I hope to do, like a lot, and teach you the joys and wonders of dinosaurs and learn facts. But yeah, and also, uh, when recording this, this is Thanksgiving, so hopefully I'm going to be uploading this during Thanksgiving. So, I hope you're having a wonderful, nice meal, and spending time with your family on Thanksgiving. And also, thank you so much for 1,000 total views on the channel. Total, not yeah, total. Thank you so much. And uh, I actually didn't think I would ever get 1,000, although that's weird. I don't know why. I don't know. But thank you so much for supporting me. And hopefully one day we can get 1,000 views on one ep or one uh, episode. So anyway, thank you so much for that. And happy Thanksgiving, but that's not what we're, he we're, we're here for. No, today we're here for dino facts. So, the dinosaur we're going to be looking at is Albertosaurus. Um, yeah, Albert. So, yeah, I am pretty excited. And leave a like, subscribe, because these videos take a lot of effort and researching to do this. So, Albertosaurus was found by Joseph B. Tyler, or Taylor, I, I don't know how to say it. On the 9th of June in 1884, and in it, in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation in Red Deer River, Alberta, Canada, which I hopefully will be going digging sometime in my life. <sighs> and Joseph was actually looking for coal, so he accidentally found Alberta Sor. I mean, I'm glad he did because it's a sick dino. I mean, all dinos are pretty sick, so. Albertosaurus was main, f or had a separate family, but its main family was the Tyrannosaurus. Basically, there's like, the rest of Tyrannosaurus are like T-Rex, I guess you could call one. I think Gorgosaur and Tarbosaur are also in the Tyrannosaurus family. The length of Tarbos, I mean, Albertosaurus was 33 th feet estimated. Its t its speed was eight or eight point seven through thirteen miles per hour walking speed. The top speed it could go was thirty kilometers per hour. It lived um, one hundred and point five million years ago, through sixty six million years ago when the dinosaurs went extinct, which would be in the Cretaceous period in Western America, in Alberta, and yeah, basically. The mm, Triassic started in 250 to 100, or no, the 200, and then the Jurassic was in 200 to 150, 25, I believe. I don't know. If you go to websites, there's just, there's just so many. But anyway, um, Albertosaurus, probably a Carithosaurus, and Lambosaurus. Lambosaurus, um, yeah, I actually didn't know eight, but apparently they did. And Cory's. I don't know why Cory's are in Alberta, but, um, uh, now I think they also, uh, Pachyrhinosaurus, because they found, like, a huge wash of Pachyrhinosaurus, but that's not about Albertosaurus. Now we're here for Alberts. But anyway, uh, in 1970, Dale Rush declared Gorgosaurus to be a juvenile of an Albertosaurus. And Philip Kurz in 2003 said that um, they are different and declared they are different. So that's why Gorgosaurus and Albertosaurus are now two separate dinosaurs. But if you look at them, they're pretty much the same. But Albertosaurus traveled in packs. Um, yeah, they traveled in packs, like in Walking with Dinosaurs movie, as we saw. The one thing they got right. And in some cases, up to 20, because there's some um, fossil graves that are up to 20. Like, yeah, it's pretty shocking. Other thing is that it had horns, like Orgosaurus. I mean, you should already know that. But, hey, if you didn't know that, they have horns. Albertosaurus was uh, T-Rex would not bite their pack groups. So, Alberts and T-Rexes would not bite each other in their packs. 
basically. The tooth of Albertosaurus had specialized cracks to tear off flesh. Now, this is very interesting, because I had no idea until I read this on the internet. So, basically, it's not like cracks that are bad, but for somehow, Albertosaurus had cracks in their teeth, rip, to rip off flesh easier. And Alberts had more teeth than a large Tyrannosaur, including like Tarbosaur, I think would be one that would be larger, maybe. Uh, and T Rex, basically. Uh, Ty uh, Utah. I wow. can't forget it. The one next to T Rex, Utahranus. There we go. Uh, yeah, Utahranus. And Alberts, um, Al yeah, Alberts had larger head than, or t a larger head and tiny hands, basically. Not as big as Jig's heads, but you know what I mean. And Alberts had more slender bodies than uh, T Rex. And T Rex was 10 to 12 feet longer than an Albertosaurus, which I guess makes sense because, um,. If, Al if Albertosaurus was 33 feet and T-Rex was 44, that makes sense why I was 10. And now, the Juvie babies! Albertosaurus babies would ran run faster than adults. But that still didn't save them, because... Uh, we'll get in... Like, they didn't really survive. I don't know why, I mean, they didn't tell me, so great job. Anyway, they were a uh, Herodontist, yeah, meaning they had different forms of teeth, therefore different functions. So each teeth has a different function. Albertosaurus, or an Albert two years old, would already be seven feet long. The species would have lived for 14 years before they died. The Juvies uh, died a lot, why, I don't know, like I said. But that's why there's a lack of, of its stage. That stage where it died a lot. Uh, the cupid growth was at age 12, I guess you could say. In another um, thing for a year, in 1910, a massive graveyard, I mean, like, massive for its time. It's time, I should say. Uh found nine Albert sources. That's a lot. Like, all on top, basically. By Barnum Brown, who, which founded the T-Rex. Like, the first ever T-Rex Barnum Brown founded. So that's pretty cool. And then, uh, young juvenile Alberts behaved different than uh, adults. Why, I don't know also. But I'll probably get into more. Young properties of a small individuals were promptly of those ornitho oh, the legs basically properties of the legs like the muscle were smaller than an uh, adult but yet faster like an ornithomimid which is a gallimimus basically the family so an ornithomimid were fastest dinosaurs or some of the fastest dinosaurs ever but Alberts for some reason, had the legs of the uh, ornithos. So yeah, that's basically a lot of facts. So you can like go through and yeah. Enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe for more dino facts if you like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.